I'm Christine, the anxious beginner. And that's Pale, our fearless captain. Together, we've bought a 45-foot sailboat, and we're ready for an adventure. I get very bad anxiety attacks. It's not something that I'm sure that most of you have seen as I don't typically pick up the camera and film when I'm in the middle of a panic attack. Some days I'm completely terrified of sailing and even just living on the boat. But it is my dream. So even if it feels impossible, it's something I want to pursue. One of the things I've been doing to work on my anxiety is to improve my own skills. This means that whenever I feel up to it, I need to practice things like docking. All right, we're here on Russell Island and I found this apple tree. I could literally smell it before I could see it. I said, mm, I smell apple tree and started looking for it. And that is when I found this apple tree and it is just full of apples. Got some nice white shell beach here. It's not as nice as Montague Harbor, but is very cool. Definitely looked appealing from the boat. I was like, I'm definitely going there. I like this rock slab that goes into the water. We did read that there's a lot of rocks around. Ooh, what did Pelly find? Let's go find out. I heard that there's a lot of rocks and that causes people to drag and I wonder if it's because of the slab. We found a mailbox. I'm feeling really glad that we stopped early. Look at how cool this place is. There's just like these slabs of rock and the shell beach. And it's, this side of the island is so protected. It was so rolly out there. It's just so comfortable. And the clouds rolling off the other island over there. And there's history to look at. I mean, what else could you ask for? So cool. All right, y'all, blackberry. The season is definitely way over and I've not seen one in a while, only just dried ones on the bushes. But this one looks so good. I hope it's as good as it looks. It's pretty, oh, it's so good. If you've never had blackberries straight off of a bush, it's like the only way. I lived somewhere where they didn't grow for a while and I bought them at the store and it's, it's not the same, they don't taste the same. You have to get them fresh off of the bush. Oh, so good. What a find in late November to find a single blackberry on the bush that's ripe. All the rest are dead. Amazing. Oh, my lucky day. We, we stopped on the right island for sure. Look at how beautiful. I think there's gonna be an amazing sunset tonight. I am so excited. This is the coolest. I love that on this side of the island, there's just like these cliffs that drop off and it just shows you like how intense the water is. Glad we're anchored on the other side where it's nice and chill. Check out this little shell beach. So cute. I love shell beaches and I'm basically judging all of them off of Montague Harbor is definitely my number one. But this one is coming in at a close second, I think, because look at all of those shells. You can hardly see any rock or sand underneath, which is really what makes them like so pretty. Look at how pretty guys. You can just see it makes the it shows how clear the water is. It's so good. It's so good.
All right, we came ashore this morning to go for a hike. Ooh, I almost fell. <laughs> we came ashore this morning right now to go for a hike before we continue on our way to Salt Springs. So check out this island, it's so cool. Weather change and the days getting shorter, the rain, the constant wind storms and the basically six to eight degrees Celsius weather. Pelly and I have been staying in the boat a lot more and we just feel really out of shape. So we made it a point to come to shore today to go for a hike before we go to the next place because this is just such a beautiful hike here. Um, it is just, this island is so pretty. There's so much just like dense forest in such a small space and then white shell beaches around every turn. I mean, we couldn't pass up doing the hike a second time, especially when we know that we need to get a little bit more exercise. So we're doing that this morning before we get on our way. And then hopefully we're gonna check out some shops and some local things in Salt Springs, which should be pretty fun. I'm pretty excited. I've been excited to go to Salt Springs for a long time. The tide is in. There's not much left to that shell beach that I was loving yesterday. It's definitely a different walk at a different tide, you know? I'm not doing any cliff diving here. That is way too shallow. Once we arrived back at the boat, we started to prep for our departure to Salt Spring Island and discovered that the button on the throttle to put the motor in gear was stuck. This meant we were unable to put the boat in gear. No forwards, no backwards. Staying on this island is not an option. There are no resources. The question is, can we fix it enough to limp to our next destination? And if we can, where should we go? We can continue on to Salt Spring. There'll be plenty of resources as far as fuel, grocery, and we'd be able to have parts shipped. But it will be exposed to the forecasted windstorms and we won't be able to move somewhere more protected until we get this fixed. We could go back to where we came from, but Mill Bay is also exposed to the southeast windstorms. We could try Maple Bay, which would be well protected, but is farther away. And we would need to plan the tides right to pass through the channel with significant currents, which seems unwise while we're experiencing throttle issues. Which one would you choose? While we think it over, Pele has to come up with a way to get this boat moving as days are getting short and if we leave much later, we will arrive to a new anchorage after dark with limited motor capabilities. Here's the linkage that connects the transmission to the throttle for switching gears. We can manually put it in forward and reverse by pulling on this lever here in the engine room. We were hoping we could just reach behind the throttle in the cockpit locker here and pull on the linkage to change gears. However, there was too much friction to overcome without the extra leverage of the throttle lever. Once we figured out how to put the boat in gear from the engine room, we put it in gear and turned off the motor to lift the anchor. Once the anchor is lifted, we'll turn on the motor and start moving forward, hopefully before we drift into anything. Then it will be a chill motor until we have to anchor. The wind is supposed to come from that way, which is pretty big and open on Tuesday, so uh, we'll try to pick the best spot we can. Something I was worried about, because we had to um, run downstairs to switch the gears to forward or switch it to reverse, so basically we dropped the anchor, cut the motor, 
and then we switched it to reverse and I was like please let the anchor set it usually does it's only been like once or twice that it hasn't set first try but I'm like let this be one of the times that it does set uh, because we can't just like switch it into gear to go forward again uh, so that we don't run into rocks and other boats and things that are behind us but it did set right away so we are set and in place we should be good and uh, now that we're in town I think we're gonna get some takeout hopefully because we're tucked in a little bit we try to get behind this as much as we could so if the wind is coming in this way hopefully that'll block some of the swell and wind I think it might be coming at an angle that way so it's hopefully hopefully it'll be all right um, but this is the the best we got this is where we have the resources and um, the wind isn't actually supposed to be that bad it's only supposed to get up to like 18 it, it's not really good at predicting in these cuts so it'll probably get more like 20 22 but um, it'll just be uncomfortable and nobody likes to be uncomfortable and it's like Tuesday Friday and Saturday um, so but hopefully we will um, it won't be too bad and we can enjoy salt springs because I am very excited about that if you liked this video hit the thumbs up and if you want to join us on the next adventure hit subscribe